I'd be. I kissed her and she kissed me. So today we're making fresh mozzarella. We need two bowls, one with cold water, one with hot water, with the broken down cheese curds. So you add the hot water, but not too hot. You don't want to burn yourself. You don't want to burn your hands. So now I start forming it with the spoons. As you can see, it's starting to come together, it's stretching. Yeah, looking good. One big cheese ball. Frank, are you ready? You yeah, start making some cheese. But before you make the cheese ball, I got a good joke for you. You're a fucking joke for me right yeah, now. Yeah, who wants right to now. see you fucking make cheese? Always with your fucking I mean, look jokes. At this. Jesus Always Christ. with your joke. It reminds me of a joke. What do you All want right. me to tell you? So you fucking joke. Go ahead. Okay, about these three midgets. You know, they want to they wanna get in the Guinness World Book of Records. So the first one walks up and to the other two, he says, I know what. So I'm going to go in for the smallest hands. Okay? okay? So he walks in there, he comes back out, and he's jumping around. And he goes, I did it, I did it. I got the smallest hands in the world. So the second one comes up to him and says, I'm going to go in for the smallest feet. Okay. So he walks into the office, he comes back out jumping after 10 minutes. I did it, I did it. I got the smallest feet. So the third guy says, what am I going to go in for? He says, I know what, I'm going to go in for the smallest penis in the world. So he walks in there, about 15, 20 minutes come by. He comes out and he's shaking his head. So the other guy, did you get it, did you get it? He says, no. He says, by the way, does anybody know a Carmen Pignataro? <laughs> come on, that was a good joke. You didn't like that joke? Come on, you know smallest penis, Carmen Pignataro? All right, let's make the cheese, come on. Hurry up. You know, the other day, my wife, she goes to the store and she gives me a call. She goes, I'm at Staples. I said, Staples? I says, what do you need at Staples? She says, I'm picking up some pencils for the kids. I says, so you went to buy pencils for the girls? I says, did you see all the pencils we got in the house? Pens, pencils, markers, crayons? So I turn around and I, I say, you know, I says, you're crazy. I says, we got so many pens and pencils, markers, crayons. I says, that we can supply a whole school. I says, we got the machine to melt the crayons down because we got, they break them because they press so hard. I says, next thing I know, I says, now you're buying more pencils. I says, you're crazy. I says, our kids, they got to learn to sharpen their pencils. I says, they get dull and they throw them away instead of sharpening them. I got markers that are dried out. We never even used them. I went to open up a pack of markers to make a sign and the markers are dried out and I go buy new markers. It's just insane. I mean, my kids, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's crazy. It is crazy. I mean, it sucks to be you. Yeah, you're right, it does. Tell me quick. Serving Chicago's finest coffee and authentic Sicilian pastries. Cafe Palermo, 6510 West Ogden, in Burlington.